Bermuda guy top seven Simon Hayes. This week, the Bermuda guy looks at top seven actors of the new British invasion. Yeah, the British are coming. Actually, they're, they're here already. These are the guys we're talking about. The Brits. Let's see who they are. Brought to you by the Bermuda. Hi, I'm the Beauty Movie Guy, and today on Top 7 Saturdays, we're looking at the top 7 actors in the new British Invasion. Now, you're like, what are you talking about? Once upon a time, there was this British invasion of actors and music. The Beatles were part of that, and for actors, there was all these actors that kind of hit around the same time. Sean Connery, Michael Caine, John Hurt, all these guys were awesome, and they all hit at the same time. So, there's a new crop of British actors that are just amazing. These guys are phenomenal actors, and according to a lot of women, phenomenally good looking. And they got the British accent thing going, so that's, it's not fair, but I'm happily married, so it doesn't matter to me. And here's the thing, half the time you don't even know they're British. You're just like, man, that guy's a good actor. And then when they talk outside, they're like, holy crap, that guy's, that guy's not from America. That guy's not from Canada. That guy's, he's talking funny. So, saying that, this top seven I've actually been thinking about doing for a long time and was suggested to me by my friend, Natalie Williams. So, here we go. There's a second part to the suggestion, but I'll put that at the end. Now, before we get to the top seven, I got a bunch of honorable mentions that just didn't make my list. And okay, again, these are my choices. Because there's a guy in the honorable mentions who you're like, but he won an Oscar! So, my top seven is who I think are the best actors, not the Oscar people. Because they get it wrong a lot. Michael Keaton! Sorry to come down with the cold. Alright, so, honorable mentions in no particular order. We have Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, see, you probably didn't know he's British, but he is. Richard Armitage from The Hobbit. Eddie Redmayne. And Henry Cavill. Or, did you know that Superman is British? He is. And there's two more I'd like to throw in here that just kind of aren't with this crop of actors. They're just, they came just preceding them. And so they're, they're as good as them in a lot of ways, but they're, they're just a bit older. One of which is Daniel Craig. Everyone knows him from James Bond. And the other, Idris Elba. Idris Elba is one of the best British actors working today. The guy is insane. He's just amazing. But what we're looking at is, in the last 10 years, there's been this whole crop of British actors coming about that are phenomenal. These guys just know how to act. So here in my ranking is the top seven best new British actors. Number seven, Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman does Sherlock, you probably know him from that. He's The Hobbit, you probably know him from that. He is just a really solid actor. He's great with quick-witted lines and long dialogue, and he's just really funny. As awesome as the show Sherlock is, Without Watson, it's not nearly as good. And that is owed to Martin Freeman. Plus he was the Hobbit. Number six, James McAvoy. James McAvoy has played Professor X a couple times now, and he's done a lot of various work. He's played in movies such as Atonement, where you're sympathetic to him and really want to root for him. And he's played in movies such as Filth, where you just think he's a disgusting, terrible person. Because he is. Not James McAvoy, the character from Filth. He has a pretty big range, and he's been getting a lot of work in the last 10 years. And I think he'll just keep on getting better and better. Number five, Tom Hiddleston. Yep, Loki. 10 years ago, you'd be like, who the heck is Tom Hiddleston? But now, a lot of people know who he is. And yes, a lot of people do know he's British because he can't, Loki's kind of British sounding, but yeah. Tom Hiddleston is an excellent actor. I've seen him in such things as War Horse where he had a small part, but it was like he showed up and was like, that's Tom Hiddleston. He's funny, he's smart. He especially is great at giving sarcastic dialogue. And he's easy on the eyes, too. Oh, yeah. Number four, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Chiwetel Ejiofor, 10 years ago, didn't know who he was. Then he did a movie called Serenity, which happens to be my favorite movie of all time. Since Serenity, he's appeared in almost every movie made. Well, at least that's what Joss Whedon said. He's just gone on to do everything. The man is supremely talented. He knows how to do dramatic. He knows how to do funny. He knows how to do everything. He doesn't mind taking small roles, he doesn't mind taking big roles, he doesn't care what the film is as long as he thinks it's going to be interesting. He's played everything from an American mob boss to 12 years a slave to a guy trying to kill Malcolm Reynolds in Serenity. Supremely talented actor. Number four! Tom, I'm sorry, number three. Number three! Tom Hardy. Yeah, some people are like, what are you, what? Tom Hardy's British. He is incredible. This guy is a bit of a chameleon because I've seen him in films like Inception where it's like, he's the suave British guy who's really cool. And then I heard he got cast as Bane and I was like, I don't see this happening. How could that guy be Bane? But then he did a movie called Warrior. And in Warrior, he looks like he's the most jacked up person on the planet. His arms are like this. He walks around like this for the whole film and he got so much muscle, it was insane. You'd have no clue he's a British guy and a very nice, polite British guy and he's just such a good actor. He plays everything from bad guys to family men driving in a car. Lock, check that movie out. 
his career is just going to get brighter and brighter. Number two, Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm sure a lot of people just went, what? He's not number one? No, he's not my number one. I love Benedict Cumberbatch, though. So this guy just oozes awesomeness. You can get a cream for that, but it doesn't matter. He's such a good actor. In Sherlock, he's insanely amazing. He even played a dragon good. Well, he, he yeah, I don't know if he actually got around on the floor and squirreled around, but he is just possibly one of the best British actors working today. And again, you're probably like, why isn't he number one? There's one guy, I think, who's just got so much potential and he's such a good actor already that I have to give him that number one spot. And that guy is number one, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender is one of the best actors working today, period. He's done things like Magneto where he's charismatic and you want to root for him even though he's the bad guy. He's done things like 12 Years a Slave where you hate him. You literally hate him. He doesn't mind being way out on that ledge of acting where he's done stuff like Shame, which is about a man who suffers from sexual addiction, and Hunger, where he had to lose insane amount of weight. He's done action films like 300, and spy films like Haywire. He does everything, and he does everything amazing. Everything. I don't think there isn't anything he can't do acting-wise. So, these are the seven actors that I'm just like, that's the new wave of British Invasion right there. Now, my friend Natalie Williams, who requested this video, also requested that um, I rate them on looks. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I would never do that for top seven women, so I'm not going to do that for top seven guys. But you feel free to lay in the comments who is the best looking in this list and feel free to tell it and everyone can see your thoughts. They're all good looking guys, so I'll leave it to you. Let me know, who do you think is the best British actor working today in this new crop of British actors? You can do the hot thing if you want. And let me know if you think there's a top seven I should be doing. I got a bunch of suggestions the other night. This is actually one of them. I was already working on this one though, so it kind of worked out fine. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay bearded, everyone. You've been watching the Bearded Mug Top seven British actors working today or something like that. I don't know what to call it. It's, it's a weird name. Anyways, subscribe and tell your friends. And as always, you to safe. Just Does the beer good?